All right, we're moving to one of these small beach towns. I don't give a damn what you say. Yeah. Say something. I'm, I'm going straight up in this mud. Well, you be going in there by yourself. I don't mind going by myself. Oh, well. Um, well I, I guess we made an agreement. No, that's the place we were talking about. Yeah, I okay, I knew that. My bad. Y'all look at this place here. It's a, it's a container unit, a storage container. Still one of those containers they put on the ships to ship stuff. They converted that bad boy into a pasta and wine restaurant. It's out here on the opposite end of Progresso. They got some chairs up top. You can sit down covered. Or you can sit out here on the side and enjoy a nice meal. A few homes back there in the back, most likely Airbnbs. They got quite a few shorter piers out here where you can just walk up down the pier and, you know, go out to the water and just sit out and look and chill. Ain't this nice, man? I keep saying, the longer, I, the more often I come down here to the beach, the more likely. Walk down which way? Huh? Ain't nothing down there. Oh, let's we'll go check it out. Another little bathroom here. Huh? Yeah, ain't nothing over there. We just walk down one like that. Plus, we got a long way to walk back to the car. You already talking about you tired. I was tired, boss. Everybody jamming. Hey, little kitty. She riding by herself. I'm loving it. Is it about what? What time is it? About ten o'clock? Nine o'clock? Young one learning how to ride a bicycle. This is the life, y'all. You can have this. There's apartments and homes out here on the beach. I've personally seen them. Now they're not right on the beach. You might have to walk six blocks. When you get houses and homes out here, 350 400 dollars a month. Now I'm, I ain't gonna lie, it ain't gonna be as pretty or as aesthetically pleasing as you think, but the house on the inside is gonna be really nice quality. And you know, I hell, you know, I say if you have to spend an extra thousand dollars to dress it up on the inside and make it comfortable for yourself to live there. Hey, do that. They get you six blocks away from the beach. This taco, there must be some good tacos. Might have tried this out one day. Cause they packed up and down this bad boy. Seems like on this side, you ain't gonna spend as much on them on the dog on food like you would over there on the other side of Progresso. His brother over here selling some hot dogs. They're about that life. Where's Malika? Where's Malika? Malika? Malika's on the move. Malika. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, where's Malika? And I think she's on the move. <laughs> <laughs> so if you get you a Mexican husband and y'all get married here in Mexico, that means you have to take on their cultures and values. And when I get old, I have to come live with y'all, take care of your old man. What you say to that? I got you. You can live with me, I guess. Yeah, what I'm talking about. That's why. I, see, y'all don't know that's why I moved to Mexico so I can have a plan. <laughs> so y'all take care of me when I get in my old age. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, I want y'all to look. I, I made this video out here before. Look at that. They doing that jailhouse rock. <laughs> Oh, that's the name of the song. The you on TT, you on the nobody. Okay, right. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. Look at this. It's late. What time is it exactly? I have no idea. You got your phone. Okay. Look, I want y'all to understand. Look at all these folks out here. This is at the beach. These folks live out here on the beach. Families. Bring you. It's ten o'clock. Is that nine fifteen or fifty? Nine fifteen. All right, nine o'clock. These families out here enjoying the day and night with their loved ones just look at the number of folk out here this can be you you don't have to wait till you're 65 and 70 and 80 come on down make this transition now while you can when you look at the ages of these young folks all these folks here young and I, and I need you to wrap this around your mind. The average worker here earns about five hundred to six hundred dollars per year, and they're making it work. Now I'm saying all that to say that most of the folks out here they ain't, they ain't rich, they ain't wealthy, they ain't living big, they ain't doing it big, but they living big, and I think living. Folk come out here to the beach and see and hang out and relax. They'll work all week, but they'll relax hard. They get so many doggone vacations out the year, holidays, and have a lot of time down to spend with their family. Holidays, birthdays. On birthdays, they all getting together. This makes your life much more richer when you get to enjoy it with those that you love. You know what I mean? You don't have to be rich. I mean, all these folks out here is proving that. You don't have to be rich to do this now. I met some folks that are coming down here. They making about $1,500 a month doing customer service work. They working in customer service, $1,500 a month. Family of three. And they living well. She's like, Cartez, I come to the beach every weekend with my kids. She said, I have money left over to enjoy myself. I get to be a mother. The shift that I work for my remote job is at such the hours where I can still have plenty of time during the day to do all the stuff I want. Don't miss out on nothing. You know what I'm saying? I have somebody to come in every now and again, clean my house. I can afford it. Now, she don't got a big plush house, but she learned to eat the same way the locals eat. Let's see if I can get her on video one day. She eat the same way, in other words, she's eating a lot of the staple foods, beans, rice, tortillas, pork, chicken. She ain't going out there buying steaks. She's eating to live not eat, living to eat and so because she's eating to live you know what I mean she don't have to eat all that and because she don't have to eat all that fancy stuff steak and fancy pastas and macaroni and cheese with all the three and four and five different types of cheeses that, that'll set you back $25 hell you make some macaroni damn near out of $30 just to make the macaroni that ain't what they doing here they eat into it. They buying the food, beans and rice, and a tortilla will fill your behind up. I know for some of y'all that's like that. That's boring, Cartiers. No, they got their priorities set different. Like no, I'm here. I got this budget. I want to have a quality life. My kid is learning another language. I'm not stressed. I'm not busting my butt. I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I'm just chilling. I'm more relaxed than I ever been. I'm a mother now because I can afford to be home and be a mother. I ain't having to work two jobs. You know what I mean? So it's real. Look at this. Look like they have some kind of Girl Scouts. 
event down here or whatever the equivalent it is. I guess Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts. I, I'm assuming that's what that is because I saw a bunch of little girls in their little uniform. And they out here at the beach. They got a bonfire out there. I don't know if you can see that. And they all sleeping out here in these tents at the beach. See them tents over there? I hope the video lighting is clear enough for y'all to see that. They here at the beach chilling. There's about three, 300 kids out here. And there's tents on this side and there's tents on the other side. And they chilling. And they right there at the beach. This is living. Bring your kids out here and get them involved and acclimated. It's nine o'clock. You see all these little kids rocking down here. They start late out here because it gets real hot. It's hot out here. So they start late. That's why you see all these young folks out here late. Because when it gets cool, they come out. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is your life that you can have. You just got to plan it. That mom making them $1,500 a month, she planned this. It ain't just happening. She planned this. What you got to do eating some of those marquesitas? It's like a crepe with Nutella, Nutella. I put some strawberry marmalade on that. I put some bananas on that thing. What did I put on that thing? Some cheese, queso. That thing ain't right. Look at these pretty trees, man. You just come out here and just sit down on the beach and just let the wind blow. We found a guy today who moved here seven years ago from Cleveland. No, not from Cleveland, Dayton, Dayton, Ohio. Married him, uh, he 48 years, how old he think was, 47? Yeah, like 47. And how old was his wife? 33. Married him a local Mexican lady, 33 years old. And his Spanish was flawless. He, he couldn't even remember how to speak English. He had to think about it. Because he way, he was embedded way up deep in one of these little small beach towns. You know what I mean? He was struggling to speak English because he had been talking Spanish and living around it. And he ended up buying a couple of ATVs and they rent them out on the beach. Told them we'll be back. And we're going to get on the ATVs. He done came down here and started him a whole business. Just testing out the idea. Something he loved. Showed us the guys that do the kite. What do they call it? Kite uh, surfing. So they got a guy down here. You can take eight classes to learn how to kite surf. And we might do that. Come down once, take our eight classes, and then maybe go out there and buy some kite, kite surfing gear, and go out there and do the thing. Well, my point is saying all that is, you got options. You got serious options out here. And look at that beautiful bike. Families, this is all you see families. If you're looking at my video screen, that's what you see all up and down as you walk up and down. Whole families. I'm not talking about just mom or just that. You see moms. You see dads. You see granddads. I mean, look at that. All up and down this strip. Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. Anybody out here look stressed to you? They might be stressed when they go to work, but boy, when they let down on the weekend, they let down. They let down. Man, how can you not enjoy that view? You see that fairy wheel up over there? I don't know why lights keep going on and off. I'm a jump. Now they got this restaurant. This is one of our favorite restaurants, Vini Lo. They had this in the Alta Brisa. We might have to come. This is here at Progresso Beach. This is a miniature version of it. Ferris wheel. I hope that I can get that Ferris wheel again. Or the 
So they got the boardwalk here. Like I say, this is on the opposite extreme end of, of the Progresso where all the traffic is at. Take a picture of that. I should have had my wide, wide lens camera. Look at these boats out here. That's the water right there. I always like this picture here with the boats. It's turned up. You know, they got a lot of street dogs out here, but they got beach dogs. And they laid out. That dog been laid up there for about the last two hours. Beautiful. Folks out here selling all kinds of delicables, del delicioso foods. Beautiful place. <laughs> Alright, so that's my pep talk. It's just time to do the thing, folks. Tell them, Haley, what to do. Do the thing. When? Now. How? Doesn't matter. Just do it. That's it. That's the secret. Just do it. Start planning. Start working it out. Don't be thinking it over too long. You know what I mean? Plan. 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 If you need help with a plan, book a consultation. Moveabroadandthrive.com forward slash consultation. Join our VIP group. Moveabroadandthrive.com forward slash VIP. Hook up. Where do you joke with when? So let's do the thing already. Stop waiting. You don't need to wait.